Hatcher. Busted bone usually indicates pass. And a big rush by Troy Johnson. And a loss on the... Hatcher on the roll. And stopped over there immediately. And that time was David Schumann. By Del Carr. On the fake in Holloway. And a good block out in front by Keith Jackson to get Holloway about five. Productive Holloway on the game. Lydell Carr. And pulled out during the summer. And he can see very clearly out of the way down. Pat Collins. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And the run took over and he's turned it around. Mark Hatcher. Marcus. And Marcus has cracked pretty good. David Vickers came up and popped him a good one that time. 47 yard line. Mark Hatcher. And they shut him down from the far side. And on the run that time, it was Richard Reed. A much better athlete, they say, even than Hatcher. And there he is. That's O.C. Oliver trying to get outside. And he has swarmed over there in the far side. And will go nowhere. And it's Bosworth and Troy Johnson. So Todd Thompson will come in to punt. And Jeff Campbell standing at the 13-yard line, and it's a beauty. And it bounces inside the five, and it'll be down to the two. How's that for a break? Okay, but that's what it is. And they're just trying to get fumble. the game up the middle and a fumble. You don't see that happen very often for Colorado, and Oklahoma has recovered. Wow, what a big play. They have committed themselves, and now are in big trouble down at the two-yard line. Lydell Carr diving, and he's got the touchdown. So Lydell Carr from the two, and Oklahoma is taking advantage of the turnover. The play. Hatcher, and it's intercepted. Sonny Brown. And out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Spencer Tillman has experienced the highs and the lows during his football career at Oklahoma. But through it all, he has remained optimistic about where he's going. A very articulate Spencer Tillman. 1983 was when the college football world got its first glimpse of a blazing blur named Spencer Tillman. It was apparent from the first that his speed was matched only by his power. It translated into an impressive freshman campaign, including Big 8 Offensive Newcomer of the Year honors and an Oklahoma freshman rushing record that still stands. There were injuries in 84, and just when things started to turn around in 85, it happened again. This time, a severe hamstring pull sidelined Tillman for the majority of the season. He rushed for only 242 yards that year, well under his 83 production, but it also left him with a maturity that has helped him in 86. It's kind of unfortunate that injuries happen, but it's a part of the game, and I don't care how much you try to adjust to it um, through other people telling you and constantly warning you against injury. When it finally happens and it hits home, it's a little different and difficult to cope with. But Tillman has coped with those injuries and has set realistic goals for his football future. Uh, I personally am not looking forward to, uh, say, 2,000-yard, 1,600-yard season. I want to play consistently throughout the whole season. That's the whole key. If I can do that and stay consistent and convince some pro scouts, possibly, that I am a capable athlete of uh, maintaining my stamina over a pr prolonged period of time, then I think everything will work out all right. Though Tillman has missed prime college years, he remains optimistic because he sees life's problems as opportunities. That's what life is all about, accepting new challenges and coping with problems, in my case, injury. I'm looking forward to it. Interesting fellow. Weatherspoon, Oliver, and Marcus, the running backs. Hatcher and Bosworth is right there. So Mark Hatcher goes down in the ball. As we saw right there, make another tackle for loss. O.C. Oliver and Bosworth again. And there he is. Back in. Second long yardage. Delusio almost got Holloway and he broke it. 
And Rodney Rogers at the 50-yard line. Slowed him up, and he stumbled to a stop. Nothing. Troy Johnson. Returns in the part of either team. Kissick now is in at fullback. Mark Walters trying to run, and he gets back close to the 20. Maybe lost a yard or a half a yard. Be prepared here as Helton is in the ball game. Brown and Dixon are back. There's what I mean. And Oklahoma will take over. It looked like a little indecisiveness there. They have a play in their package where they could fake kick. We can see the fumble. And on the backside, Spencer Tillman in the air. The ball pops out, falls down on the ground. And who is there? Looks like Keith Jackson, 88, to recover. And that indeed appears to be the man that's got the touchdown for the Sooners. The yard returns. Take the Weatherspoon, keep Hatcher, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Richard Reed, a 255. Third down and five. And it'll be a fourth down situation as they can get nothing going. Guess who put on the pressure? Ended on the outcome of other games today. Patrick Collins, the fastest of the Sooners. Nothing. Under four to play. Collins. Untouched. Right. The linebacker play today at Boswell. Shane Conlon is there. Also, Tony Woods, who actually plays defensive end, but he'll be a linebacker in the pros, and he'll be playing for Pitt. That's Pontiflet picking it up after he had knocked it down for Colorado. And with less than four minutes to play all over the football, now things get a little bit out. out of Good run by Hatcher to the 40-yard line. And a fumble. Maybe stripped on the tackle. And after all that, it's recovered by Oklahoma. And both those games are very important as Colorado has got to have a win that game next week to have a chance to go to a bowl. And Nebraska's got to do something also. Another fumble. And Oklahoma's got the ball. Boy, they put some serious hits on the Colorado kid. Well, they did not have to run another play. I don't think it would be too advisable to try and take it in another <laughs> time here. you got everybody on the sidelines, including <laughs> Switzer, saying... Now, they're going to leave. Well, Barry says that's it. Yep. I want no more. He's coming over. He'll shake Bill McCartney's hand. And Oklahoma is exactly what they were coming in. They're number four or better. That's an excellent football team. And they have now taken their record 9-1 overall, 6-0 in the Big 8. With a solid performance here this afternoon. Basically, they took away from that man, Bill McCartney, what he was hoping to do with his own team, and that is create turnovers. Final score, Oklahoma 28. All right, enough. Your coach Switzer was very coy before the game. He said there weren't too many things he was concerned about. What did he tell you about Colorado, and did they play the way you expected? Yeah, I, I, they played really good, really well, that is, um, throughout the whole game, and we just got all kind of breaks. And the things that he told us were to keep our poise, and everything would take care of itself. Well, we appreciate you taking time to be with us, let you go in and celebrate with your guys. Uh, Eddie Doucette has one question, quick uh, question for you. Jamel, you get poked in the eye. Was, was everything okay after they took care of you on the sideline? No, I mean, through, af after that... Um, when, when I look up in the sun, I would see double vision. So I, I just try not to look up in the sun and just keep my eyes on the ground. All right, well, take care of that eye. You may be seeing double Nebraska next week. you got <laughs> a big game ahead. You bet the Buffaloes are seeing double nightmares of, of red right now. Thanks, Jamel, for being with us. Thank you. Okay, Jamel Holloway and the University of Oklahoma. They came in number four.